Hello everyone and welcome back. Today I have a, another poem for you. Today I'm going to be reading for you High Flight by John Glepsy McGee. Remember while I'm reading aloud the poem you can be reading along with your physical version or you can just be listening and taking in the poem. You should be paying attention to figuring out what is the rhyme scheme if any, what is the rhythm or meter of the poem, as well as trying to pick out figurative language that the author is using. And then finally, of course, figuring out what is the overall meaning of this poem and particularly how does it make you feel. Before I begin, there's a couple of words you need to know before I read the poem. So first, surly means rude or bad-tempered. And the Spitfire was the most famous British fighter plane of the Second World War. So that's two words that are used in the poem that you need to be able to make sure that you understand in order to understand the poem. And then before I start the poem, there's a little bit of information about John Gillespie McGee. So John Gillespie McGee Jr. was an American who volunteered in the Royal Canadian Air Force before the United States entered World War II. He wrote High Flight on August 18, 1941, after flying his Spitfire to an altitude of 33,000 feet, four months before he was killed. President Reagan quoted this poem in tribute to the astronauts who died in the Space Shuttle Challenger disaster, and it is often quoted at the funerals of flyers. High Flight by John Gillespie McGee Oh, I have slipped the surly bonds of earth and danced the skies in laughter silvered wings. Sunward I have climbed and joined the tumbling mirth of sun-split clouds and done a hundred things you have not dreamed of, wheeled and soared and swung high in the sunlit silence. Hovering there, I've chased the shouting wind along and flung my eager craft through footless halls of air. Up, up, the long, delirious, burning blue, I've topped the windswept heights with easy grace, where never lark or even eagle flew. And while with silent, lifting mind I've trod the high, untrespassed sanctity of space, put out my hand and touched the face of God.